newly released body camera footage of Los Angeles police arresting a black man who is simply taking out the trash. This is the Get Ready Production Social Media Network. Here we go again. Another incident of racist police assaulting and arresting a black man while taking out the garbage. It's the new hashtag. And to add insult to injury, LAPD refused to release the tape for two years. So let's get real. The Los Angeles Police Department has some serious problems with leadership and owning their shit. The video says it all. When we come back, let's talk about ways to even the score. We're about to show you video of an incident that took place nearly two years ago, but we're only seeing it now as part of a racial profiling lawsuit against the L.A. PD. Many parts of this you will find disturbing and chilling to hear police admit as they're arresting this man that we don't know who we're looking for. You're hearing the desperate screams of Antone Austin, a black man who was simply taking out his trash when two Los Angeles police officers approached to arrest him. This newly released body cam footage shows part of the disturbing incident from May of 2019. The LAPD was responding to a domestic violence call. But police spot Austin from their vehicle, taking out his trash, and listen as they decide to approach him. Because I told you to turn around. What are you doing, bro? I live here. All right, we what got a call. We got a okay, for? man. I don't know who I'm looking for yet. No, Come on, step, 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 step Turn around, man. What is your problem, dude? You hear the officer admit he doesn't have a suspect description, but continues to arrest Austin, who continues to question the police. Tensions rise. What are you doing? Austin yells for help. His girlfriend says she heard Austin's screams from the shower and rushed outside, trying to intervene, and ends up in the struggle and is disrobed in the process. For what? Who are you for? Both were arrested. The couple is now suing the city of Los Angeles. What was your reaction once you went back and actually saw it all play out and you got to actually hear the officers in the car before they got out? In your mind, you want to say to yourself, oh, you know, the first thing I'll just have because I'm black and then you won't want to be that petty. You don't want to be that small. You don't want to really believe that people's thinking is really that 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 on that low of a scale. Right. And then when you watch the footage and you hear the guy in the car, you know, like the girl in the 911 call told them to go to a restaurant that was three blocks away from my house. Austin's neighbor who made that initial 911 call about her ex-boyfriend did not give a description of him to the dispatcher. That neighbor can be seen in the video telling the officers Austin was not the man she called about, but they continue with the arrest. The attorney for Austin calls this a clear case of racial profiling. Police should not rule up and immediately think that this person is a criminal. And unfortunately, that's exactly what LAPD did. Neither Los Angeles police nor city attorneys are commenting to ABC News. Austin fought for the release of this footage and says he's relieved the public now gets to see what he went through. It's crazy that they can just convict you when they're supposed to be there to as mediator, there to serve, protect, find out what's going on. You know, um, that they in their minds are the judge and the jury and they're going to convict you on the spot based on what you look like. It's really it's really um, eye opening, you know, um, it changed the way I look at a lot of things. Uh, the city of Los Angeles did fight the release of that video, saying it would have a chilling effect on investigations, police investigations down the road, and it was against policy anyway. Now, Tone and his girlfriend have since moved from that neighborhood. They are seeking $3 million in damages, but they also simply want an apology, which they have not got. Mm -hmm. And guys, one other thing. Their attorney says that the suspect the police were actually after was a white male. Now let's go into crisis mode. I suggest the first thing you do is you seek out the advice of an attorney. Next, I would file a complaint against the Los Angeles Police Department so it's on file and in the records. I'd also file a Freedom of Information request for everything related to this incident. Now, if any of the officers involved have kids, I would send a copy of the videotape to Child Protection Services so they can make sure with a visit to the home that the children are safe. We should also use social media to alert the world about these cops and promote a public alert system to warn communities of color on how dangerous these police are. Next, we should create an organization called Terminate Bad Police. 
once their income earning potential is affected, they can start the healing process. Their personal growth will be advanced when they are tried and convicted and serve time in prison where they can have group anger management discussions with the homies. Let's talk about it. You just experienced another edition of Top Stories on the Get Ready Production social media network. I want to thank you for checking in. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your video experience.